Please, everybody have a seat. Have a seat. Uh, what an extraordinary day. Uh, the sun is out because uh, good things are happening. Uh, before I get started, just some preliminary introductions. I'll probably repeat them in my uh, formal remarks, but I want to make sure that uh, I acknowledge some people who have been critical to this effort and critical to so many uh, efforts at the state and federal levels. Uh, first of all, Speaker Nancy Pelosi, who has just been cracking the whip and uh, you know, making Congress uh, so productive uh, over these last several days. We are grateful for her. Uh, my wonderful Secretary of Transportation, Ray LaHood, is in the House. Uh, Lisa Jackson, uh, the outstanding administrator of EPA. Uh, some of the finest governors in the country are here. Uh, let me take them in uh, order of uh, good looks. Sorry, Arnold. Uh, <laughs> Jennifer Granholm of Michigan. <laughs> Governor Deval Patrick of Massachusetts. And Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> of California. <laughs> Barbara Boxer just had to leave, but the, the head of uh, the Environment Committee uh, in the Senate, who's done just outstanding work, and uh, Senators Feinstein, Levin, and Stabenow couldn't be here because they are busy voting on credit card legislation that we're going to get done before Memorial Day. Uh, and we've got uh, two outstanding uh, members uh, of the House of Representatives, uh, John Dingell, where's John? Right here, uh, the, the dean of, uh, of the House, and who's done so much extraordinary work around these issues, and Sandy Levin. Uh, please give uh, them a round of applause. I also want to mention Ron Gettelfinger of the UAW, uh, our president, who's just been a great leader during some very trying times in the auto industry, and Carol Browner, who helped uh, to make this all happen today. Please give Carol Browner a big round of applause. Since, since I'm acknowledging everybody, I'm, I'm in a voluble mood today, let me go ahead and acknowledge my other uh, members of, of the Cabinet who are here who are part of our Energy Green team uh, and do uh, just outstanding work uh, on an ongoing basis. First of all, my Secretary of Labor, Hilda Solis. <laughs> the guy who's just cleaning up uh, the Department of Interior and doing an extraordinary job, Ken Salazar. <laughs> our head of uh, HUD, Sean Donovan. And our Commerce Secretary, Gary Luck. Now, thank you all for coming to the White House today and for coming together around what I considered to be a historic agreement to help America break its dependence on oil, reduce harmful pollution, and begin the transition to a clean energy economy. Uh, this is an extraordinary gathering. Here we have today, standing behind me, along with uh, Ron Gettelfinger uh, and leadership of the UAW, we have 10 of the world's largest auto manufacturers. We have environmental advocates, uh, as well as elected officials from all across the country. And this gathering is all the more extraordinary for what these diverse groups, despite disparate interests and previous disagreements, have worked together to achieve. For the first time in history, we have set in motion a national policy aimed at both increasing gas mileage and decreasing greenhouse gas pollution for all new trucks and cars sold in the United States of America. And I want to I want to applaud the leadership of the folks of the Environmental Protection Agency, the Department of Transportation, and the White House Office of Energy and Climate Change who have worked around the clock on this proposal, which has now been embraced by so many. You know, in the past, an agreement such, of this, uh, such as this would have been considered impossible. It's no secret that uh, these are folks who've occasionally been at odds uh, for years, even